guys, I'm the voice behind the helmet, and today you are going to tune in for story time. That's right, I said it. Story time. No bike, no rides, no do it yourself. I miss my bike. Ah! So check this out. Shortly after uh, doing the spark plug change, um, about an hour after riding it, the fuel light kept coming on, right? So initially in my head, I'm like, damn, I know I made sure I reconnect everything, but you know, it's always good to be sure, right? And when I say be sure, I just mean by like double checking everything in which I didn't do because I felt like for the most part, I was right there. I seen what was taking place, etc. So now I'm riding around, you know, just chilling and now i got this on my mind while i'm out so i'm like all right f this i gotta go home take the bike back apart so um prior to doing that something happened and let me say this it's important when you're working on your stuff that you not micromanage but like be very specific to whoever's helping you on your expectations and what they will and will not do like it sounds i guess demanding but hey you know you could be demanding in a nice way because if something goes wrong on your bike then at the end of the day that's gonna come out of your pocket right so i guess it's only fair so getting into what actually happened uh we were working on a bike you know i had gave y'all the introduction that you know tay baby and jay willie was coming over to help me reassemble the bike right which they did thank y'all for your help again and uh so during the process right what ended up happening is uh so i had the battery connected right back up and he didn't know that so I had the battery connected back up and they didn't know that. So, you know, I was, I knew it, like, you know, so I knew like certain things had to be out the way because the last thing you wanted is the grounds to touch and short out the wire, right? I guess I mentioned that because that's what happened. So, uh, put the tank back on and it was a white smoke that came from my bike. And everybody knows white smoke typically indicates like electrical, something just burnt itself or whatever the case may be so uh i don't know how to think about that initially but so i go back in there and i realize the wire is freaking burnt right but a majority of it looks like electrical tape and so now i'm confused as hell i'm like yo all right why is this electrical tape here right these two are connected, but the wires don't match. So what the hell? This is why I say it is super important to know your bike. Like, break it down as much as you can or get somebody who's super experienced or more experienced in that area to where they can help you and guide you and be your mentor. Like, in a motorcycle life, there's nothing wrong with having a mentor. It's just like regular life outside of bike life but like there is nothing wrong with having a freaking mentor man so uh i'm not the best when it comes to tracing wires so of course i hit up my guy friends and i'm like yo my few like keep coming on um this is what i think it is i was gonna take it to a shop but they're gonna try to bust me in my head for something that you know <clears throat> It's actually pretty simple. So I'm like, damn. Um, I showed him the wire. They, you know, he's like, make sure the battery's disconnected. So I, of course, the battery's disconnected. Because what can happen is that, excuse me, we don't know where that short's coming from, right? You don't know what burnt where burnt. So what happens is that if you keep that battery engaged, it can short out several more wires. So a problem this big could come to a problem this big and a problem this big so with that being said you know i disengaged the battery and he came and picked up my bike for me and i'm just 
been in the house looking stupid. Besides, you know, my workout, my normal workout plan. And you know, just chilling for the most part, but it is uh, tough. I really miss my bike. Oh, I miss my bike. Nah, but for real though, it's just very important. So y'all know that one part, I will show y'all a clip where I was like, you disconnect this red fasten or whatever, right? And this is your main fuel line. Once you disengage this, the whole tank should pop up. That line, because it runs under the bike. And it was like only one socket could have went to. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but clearly a ground hit something and it did what it did. So I really miss my bike. A lot's been going on too. What I could have did and should have did was uh, pull up in the vehicle. But you know what fun is that? You know, everybody on A twos and you just sitting there. Like sitting there. But yeah, I just wanted to basically tell y'all my bike is down because my main fuel line might be burnt out. And worst case scenario, I might have to replace the entire harness. Worst case scenario. But fingers crossed that that's not what it is. Fingers crossed. I'll actually hopefully find out today what the what the damage is. But yeah, I mean the bike ran fine despite the sensor coming on, but I ain't wanna take no chances, man. I got too much to lose. And I'd rather catch a problem now on the post to keep riding on it and, and ignoring it until it gets worse. So I say all this to say it's okay to be specific um, when it comes to your stuff. If somebody disagrees with it, then they don't have to help you, you know? But in this case, it was a, lear a learning lesson, a lesson learned, and uh, we all didn't figure it out to after the fact. But the lesson learned, like the thing I like about me and my friends is that we're able to attack something together and acknowledge it and then laugh about it, you know, because at the end of the day, it could always be worse. And then two, like, you can't change it. So why sit up here and be angry about something you can't change? So that's where we at. My bike is down. My bike is down. If y'all want to pay for it, then, uh, <laughs> you know, y'all gonna pay me out. But yeah, my bike is down and I'm smiling. Yeah, it's just eight minutes of me right in here. So that is all I wanted to share with you guys. I don't have like a special vlog or anything too intense or too deep or too interesting for this week. Just these words. Just be mindful. Okay, folks. Stay warm. It's getting cold and um until next time guys. I'll see y'all and I'll keep y'all updated.